This presentation is made for IE Business School application to answer the question F. These slides and lecture are produced by Ching Yu Ling. The best way to ensure that every part of the instructions you received will properly reach all the receivers worldwide is to use these four steps. First, record instructions. Second, classify information. Third, use communicational tools. Fourth, ask for feedback. First, you need to make sure that you record every instruction properly. Normally, you take notes. These are three common ways to take notes. First, jot down on the notebook, laptop, or tablet computer. Second, tap the meeting. Third, photo the slides. And also, you can check minutes of the meeting and ask others to ensure that you record all the important information. Step 2. Classify instructions. If there are a lot of data or instructions need to deliver, it is likely to mess up. So, the best way is to put all the data in order. Classify them by recipients, location, number of recipients, urgency, significance, and so on. Now, we need to convey these messages. But first, let's take a look what kinds of communicational tools we can use and their features. For example, the advantage of phone is that you can inform your recipient immediately and can discuss the issue on the phone. But it's had bad confidentiality and storability and normally can talk with one person one time. As for email, you can send information to multiple people and if there are tons of instructions, you can send attachments and leave the record. But the disadvantage of these tools is also obvious. People might not be noticed immediately after you send to them and it's not easy to get the feedback to check whether they have been well informed. By doing this chart, now we can start to choose these tools to convey our messages. When we got an instruction, we should ask ourselves first, is it urgent? If the answer is yes, then what's the number of receivers? If it's less than 3, the best way is to phone them. If it's more than or equal to 3, does the task have to be discussed? No, then you can inform them by sending the instructions in the group of instant message apps. If it's need to discuss and urgent, you had better to hold a conference. If the represents are located in different parts of the world, we can use video audio conference. If the instructions are not urgent, we then ask that, is it need written records or have any attachment? If the answer is no, we can also send the message through instant message apps. But if the answer is yes, we can use email or entity mail to convey these documents. From now on, we send all kinds of instructions to our receivers. But how can we ensure that all of them are received properly? If you talk to receivers on phone or conference, it can make sure the instructions are received. But if you send the information by instant message apps or emails, we should check whether they reply or they receive instructions. If yes, then it's fine. But if no, the best way is to find the key person of the receivers. Normally, there is only one contact person with a supplier or client. But for subordinates, we should find who should take charge of this mission and then form him or her directly to convey the instructions. So, we can follow these four steps and use this flowchart to ensure that every part of the instructions we receive will properly reach all receiver whether location urgency or format. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your watching and consideration.